Welcome to this eGro Plant Growth Regulator Tips video. Hi, I'm Brian Whipker, Professor of Floriculture at NC State University. In this video, we will discuss how to even out your results with Piccolo 10XC. So let's get started. First, I would like to thank Fine Americas for providing research support which made this video possible. Fine Americas has two Paclobutrazol formulations. First, it has the traditional 0.4% Piccolo and also the newer Piccolo 10XC, which is 10 times stronger. Both are excellent tools to have in your PGR toolbox. The question is often asked, what factors can affect the efficacy of a Paclo application? That's what we will discuss here in this video. So where is Paclo taken up by the plant? Paclo is actively taken up by the plant in the roots, stems, and leaves. Uptake is greatest in the roots and the stems. Paclo uptake and movement is less in the leaves. So why is a foliar application of Paclo less effective? It all goes back to the movement of PGRs within the plants. With a foliar spray, most of the chemical is applied to the leaves. Once applied, Paclo can move within the leaves as indicated by the green arrows, but it does not move out of the leaf very well as indicated by the red arrows. The reason for this is the vascular system of the plant. Most PGRs readily move within the xylem, but they do not move very well within the phloem. Thus, a foliar applied Paclo will mainly affect growth where it comes in contact with the leaf. So with limited movement out of the leaf, anything that you can do to improve leaf uptake will increase the efficacy of the PGR application. Talking about the xylem and flow on movement brings up another point to consider. Have you ever wondered why the recommended volume of water to apply is set at 2 quarts per 100 square feet of bench area? This volume of water provides enough excess that stem and root contact also occurs. Chemical uptake by these sites can be transported by the xylem, thus the PGR is distributed throughout the plant, which then provides greater growth control. This is the guiding principle used with paclobutrazole. It is assumed that the excess water will result in xylem transport and the mixing rates are based on this assumption. Also, how does leaf wetness promote increased uptake? The longer the leaf remains wet, the greater the uptake. If the leaf drives too quickly, less Paclo will be taken up by the plant. In an experiment at NC State University, we applied a PGR foliar spray to the leaves and allowed it to dry. The next morning, we just barely re-wet the leaves. So what were the results? Rewetting the leaves allowed for additional uptake of the PGR and the end result was a 10% increase in growth control. The take home message here is to make sure that foliar applications are made during the day when wetness can be prolonged. Now let's look at drench applications to the substrate. The roots readily uptake Paclo and transport it via the xylem to the leaves in the growing tip of the plant. This provides more even control. So what occurs when you apply a sprench, which is typically a spray applied with a larger volume of water set at 3 quarts per 100 square feet of bench area? A sprench is really like a mini drench application. Sprenches increase the stem and root uptake, thus an increase in control is due to the greater amount of xylem transport of Paclo to the growing tip of the plant. Now let's discuss differences in formulations. All the 0.4% formulations of Paclobutrazol use a clay and xanthan gum to help hold the active ingredients in suspension. Over time, however, settling will occur. The AI settles out very quickly. This starts within a week of having the jug sit on the shelf. The clay particles and xanthan gum, which aid in holding the AI in suspension once the PGR solution is mixed, will settle up more slowly. That usually occurs over a two-month period. To illustrate this point, we poured some Piccolo 0.4% into this clear Erlenmeyer flask. 
Over the course of two months, one can clearly see that settling has occurred with the clay particles. The active ingredient settles out more quickly, but you cannot see when that occurs. So over time, more of the AI settles out at the bottom of the jug and less is at the top. If the jug is not vigorously shaken, then you'll have a huge variation in the amount of pack load that you will be applying to the plants. Thus, the take home message here with a 0.4% formulation is that you need to shake it before you use it. In contrast, the 4% Piccolo 10XE formulation is 10 times stronger and it is also clear. It is a micro emulsion concentrate formulation. This formulation prevents the AI from settling. Finally, what is the best way to determine the effectiveness of a PGR application such as Piccolo? The answer is to leave an untreated check. It will provide data to you to help determine if the chemical worked or if the rate needs to be changed in the future. So now let's summarize how to optimize results with Piccolo. Piccolo is the main PGR used in floriculture production. Drench applications are more readily taken up by the plants and provides more even results. Spray applications are easier to apply, but the leaf must remain moist for a prolonged periods of time to help increase the uptake. Finally, remember to shake the 0.4% formulations before it's used. Otherwise, it settles out and you will have uneven results.